Hi students, this is the video version of the material that appears below. So you can find out how to succeed with your week two Dropbox assignment by watching this video or by reading the material below or doing both. Can't hurt. So the first thing that I suggest is that you review the rubric for the assignment so you know exactly how it'll be graded, you know exactly the criterion that will be used to grade it. And notice that under the last point in the table of the rubric, you have description of criterion, which is basically the um, point in the rubric that has to do with writing and formatting. And keep in mind that I look at correct use of sources and citations under description of criterion to just make sure you do your sourcing correctly because this assignment actually does require sources. So here are the, the four points that appear in the rubric. You're going to be graded on overall concept map quality. Then you're going to be graded for including your characteristics of managers and leaders. And there are two places where you do that. One on the table and one on the map itself. <clears throat> and the map needs to include your definition of success, interrelationships between managers and leaders, and Disney strategies that you plan to employ to make you even more successful. And then as I mentioned, the last point is description of criterion and that has to do with writing and formatting. So you will know exactly what you're being graded on and what you need to make sure is included in your assignment. So now we begin the actual assignment instructions. Uh, these are a little bit confusing because they're kind of two sets of instructions and they kind of interrelate to each other but I've, I'm hoping that I've presented them here in a way that's a little easier to understand. Uh, first you want to take a look at the table template that appears on the assignment instruction page in Canvas and for some reason this has been known to um, slip off the assignment page somehow. So if you don't see it there, let me know. And I'll make sure I put it back up there. I really apologize for yawning so much. <clears throat> I don't know what that's about. Anyway, so that's what the table looks like. It has a column for characteristics of managers and characteristics of leaders. And so after you review the template, you need to identify characteristics from this week's reading to add to both columns. And you should add at least five to six characteristics to each side. And you'll find those characteristics actually back in the week one course materials. There are two presentations titled Management versus Leadership that will help you identify these characteristics. Next, you're going to create your concept map, and the next several slides deal with the concept map. So one of the things that the concept map needs to include is your success definition. So you're going to outline your de definition of what success means to you professionally, and that needs to appear on your map. Still under creating a concept map, you're going to connect the interrelationships between effective managers and leaders. So not only do you need to list those characteristics in your table where you're comparing the characteristics, but you also need to include those characteristics on your map and show how they are related to each other. Still under creating a concept map, you need to include your personal model of um, present model of personal leadership. And you can get a good idea of what that looks like on the sample excellent assignment, which I'll be showing to you here in miniature form. <clears throat> now, um, since this is personal, you know, remember the the thread that runs through this class that most of our papers are about personal experiences. So um, you'll want to use first person in talking about your personal leadership model. 
still under creating your concept map you're going to add strategies from creating magic the lee cockrell textbook that will potentially help you grow and since you are being asked to include this source you must be sure that you cite those strategies with correctly formatted in-text citations and a reference list um, so this is what a really good um, concept map looks like Let's, let me move that so you can see it a little better I can't seem to move my video anyway uh, you'll see that the success def definition is right in the middle on this one you know it doesn't have to be that's just the way this person did it and then under the success definition is the personal leadership model and this student actually has her or his cockerel strategy spinning off from the three elements of the personal leadership model and for this student the the model includes self-awareness uh, taking initiative and commitment and passion so he or she has the uh, cockerel strategies now you'll notice or maybe you won't because the type is very small but two of these strategies have an in-text citation and the third one does not so um, probably that was an oversight on the students part but then down here at the bottom right is the reference list and you'll see the in-text citations in the other two entries and then up here at the top or the sides you'll see um, characteristics of managers and leaders and you can see that these are color coded over here and then these little arrows show the interrelationships among and between those characteristics so finally you're going to submit your concept map and you're going to submit it in um, Microsoft Word as a Microsoft Word document a PDF or an image um, and I'm sorry that it should also include PowerPoint uh, and I actually find PowerPoint the easiest to work with a uh, couple of other tips I feel that a horizontal format works a lot better than a vertical format for this map and I think it's really really helpful to use that sample Excel assignment as a model and if you use either Word or PowerPoint you can use the shape function to create a lot of the um, elements of the map so you know making a concept map is probably new to you and um, you know please feel free to reach out to me if you are struggling with it or you have any questions about it but do take a look at that sample excellent assignment that's available here on this page and uh, I wish you much success with the assignment thanks